Question 73 to 75. So this is a x-ray beam passing through some absorbing material and uh, monochromatic. Okay, so I0 is the initial intensity of the beam and uh, I is the intensity of the beam that emerges on the other side. Okay, so I0 is the one coming in and then emerging on the other side. X is the thickness in uh, centimeters and A is the linear attenuation coefficient. And E is 2.718. So E, you shouldn't feel any discomfort seeing E, okay? Um, e is 2.718. Uh, it is uh, one of these, uh, um, it's, an, it's a number which is just a, a number that popped out in nature, just like the number pi, 3.14. And, uh, and, um, and it's like the word mole representing the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You know, you accept those numbers, you accept the number pi, please just accept E and, uh, and um, as it should be done. And, and also, of course, the, the, the importance of E is that you see it popping up sometimes in natural logarithms, which we have seen already uh, in this exam, because the log that you normally see is log base 10, but natural logarithm is log uh, base uh, E. So um, now moving to the uh, first question. The linear attenuation coefficient is that. So that's, uh, that's A is uh, 0 0.2. Which of the following is closest to the thickness of absorber required to stop half the protons from passing through it? So if it's, if it's going to stop half the protons, that means the ratio of the intensity that goes through it, the slab, and the original intensity is going to be one half because <clears throat> half was stopped. And then this is equal to E uh, to the power of, we were told that it's 0.2, so we have negative uh, 0.2x. Um, I'm not adding that at negative, it's in the original equation that is provided. And uh, we know that x is the thickness of the slab. So now it's, um, it's pretty much, uh, it's math. And so in order to get rid of this E, we have to take the um, logarithm of both sides. And of course, we're going to choose to take the, the natural logarithm of both sides because, um, because just like if we had the number 10 uh, with X up here, if we take a log, log base 10, of 10, x comes to the front, and log 10 is 1, so that's equal to x. So the natural log of e to the power of x, just like this, is equal to x. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides, um, take the natural log of uh, 1 half, take the natural log of this side, and so that just brings down the exponents um, to be 0 0.2 x. So that's just uh, using the rules of uh, logarithm. Now what I'll do is um, uh, I have uh, uh, this is the same as 2 to the minus 1 okay and then I can bring the minus sign to the front okay so I guess I better be sure that you understand that rule so that's 2 to the minus 1 Anything to the minus one is the inversion of that. And anytime you have an exponent, you can bring it to the front. So that would be equal to minus uh, log of two. Okay, so I'm gonna have minus log two now, and it's equal to that. And now the other thing that I can do, I could, um, I could remove, uh, of course, I'm gonna remove those negative signs um, because they're on both sides of uh, the equation and I'm going to change this ln to the number that um, they provide us with, which is 0.693. So this is 0.693, this is 0.2, so I can write x is equal to uh, 0 0.2 over uh, 0 0.69. <clears throat> So I can just multiply top and bottom by a 10, a little uh, est estimation um, happening. And uh, did I do that right? No, 
I did it exactly the opposite way. <laughs> so, so uh, this is x is going to be, um, uh, we have 0 0.69 on top over 0 0.2. There we go. And so that's equal to 7 over 2 because you multiply top and bottom by a 10. And so that's equal to 3.5 and it's centimeters. So you see here that I quickly try to convert into uh, fractions. Fractions work a lot better than working in decimals. You'll find you'll, you'll work faster during the exam if you try to use fractions uh, more than uh, decimals in general. Question 74. How thick should a foil made from absorber 2 to give the same absorption of one millimeter thick foil made from absorber 1? Okay, for x-rays of energy 5 times 10 to the 6. So we go to the table and we look at 5 times 10 to the 6. So that's absorber. That's at the top of the table. And then you look at uh, for 1, we get um, a value of 0 0.4. And then for uh, Roman numeral 2, we get a value of 0 0.2. See how that uh, lines up with 5 times 10 to the 6. Okay, so um, so next, um, we want the same absorption, and we have for absorber two is one millimeter thick. So for number two, x is one millimeter thick. Now our equation is uh, is i over i zero is equal to e negative a x let me just make sure i did that right okay okay so e negative a x so now they're saying that the absorption for both of these is going to be the same so this we want the absorption because this is the amount of these photons that are hitting the thing, and this is the amount that are getting through. We just did a calculation showing that uh, it could be one half and whatever. So that could be the amount that is absorbed. So right now, um, we want this to be constant. So we know if this is gonna be constant, and this is a constant number, we know that we're really just adjusting these two. So um, when we look here at two, we have two uh, for the letter A. So this is point 0.2. Here we have point 0.4 um, for the letter A. So uh, just making sure how thick foil made from ab absorber 2 be to give the same absorption as one millimeter thick foil made from absorber 1. Yes, I did um, misread that. This is X and this is our unknown. So um, this is this is x and this one is known and it is uh one millimeter okay because it says uh how thick should a foil made from absorber two how thick should this be to give the same absorption as a one millimeter thick uh foil made from absorber absorb um absorber number one okay so now we know that ax must remain constant in order for us to maintain this um a, absorbance as uh, constant. So if we have here one millimeter times four, then we have to, to, to keep this constant, we are gonna have to multiply this by two millimeters. And if, if not, you just cross multiply or do it any way you want, and you'll see that it, it has to be two millimeters for this to be as constant as that. Okay, so that uh, is answer uh, 74 is D. So now we move on to 75. A special uh, sensitive instrument, X-ray shielding, rectangular clap. This lab allows no more than an average of 10 to, uh, well, 100 photons uh, to strike the instrument. Okay, if an average of 10 to the four enter this lab, okay, so, uh, we know that, I'm glad I have the equation already written, so now we, we know that the intensity is gonna be uh, 10 to, to the two, okay? And uh, the maximum that can um, strike, 
is 10 to the 2, and the average that entered the slab is 10 to the 4. So you have 10 to the 4 entering, and then 10 to the 2 crossing over, going through. So that's our um, absorption right there. And then this is equal to, and then the, uh, the photon energy is 10 to the power of 6 electron volts, and this is absorber number 1. So we have to look at the table, 10 to the power of 6, absorber number 1 is 0 0.7. So we're looking at 0 0.7. So this is going to be 0 0.7 uh, right here for A. Okay, so um, 10 squared, 10 to 4, so that's 10 squared minus uh, 4. So that gives us 10 to the minus 2. Okay, 10 squared minus 10. Okay, and then uh, we, that's going to be equal to E negative 0.7x. <clears throat> and now uh, we just uh, need to take the logarithm of both sides like, like we did before. But of course, um, this is called the, uh, the natural logarithm in order to get rid of this. So we take the natural logarithm on this side like that, and we take the natural logarithm of this side, and it gets rid of the E entirely, just like we did in the previous uh, question. So this um, comes down. And so uh, we, and this we can bring to the front, okay, that's our rules of logarithm. So we have minus 2 uh, ln 10, and that's equal to negative 0.7x. And then, uh, of course, our negative signs we can, uh, we can get rid of. Uh, I think it's time for us to take a look and see what uh, ln 10 is. And they give it to us. It's 2.3. So this is 2.3. So we have 2.3 times 2. So that's uh, 4.6. And we have uh, 0.7 over here. So we bring, divide both sides by that. Bring that over here. We have 0 0.7. So we have... Um, um, and we'll multiply top and bottom by 10 just to make it easier to uh, see where this is leading. So multiply top and bottom by 10, we have 46 uh, over 7. Then we see how many times this 7 go into 46. It's um, not 7 times, it's 6 times. So 6, that's uh, 42. So we get um, 4 left over. So that's 4 over 7. I think I did that right. So that's 6, uh, 42, 4 over 7. <clears throat> that's left over. <clears throat> Sorry. And so, um, yeah. So then we look at the answer choices, and uh, we have 6.6, uh, .6, and that looks pretty good. Um, centimeters. And then we move on to the next question. <laughs>